Hello, my name is Steve Smith, I work for Pico Technology and we're going to look at the WPS pressure transducer connecting to intake manifold on a petrol, conventional petrol engine. So every time we switch the transducer on it's important to have the test board open to atmosphere because you'll see that it'll scroll through from 1 through to 3 and back to 1 again. This is a calibration so it's ensuring that we have a zero pressure when we're open to atmosphere. Now we're connected to intake manifold via the vacuum pipe of the fuel pressure regulator. So we've used one of the pressure taps, the relevant pressure tap, which is the tapered one. So we disconnect fuel pressure regulator, insert our pressure tap, and we're basically teeing in. So now we can monitor manifold pressure. We set the scope up. Okay, can you start that, please? Thank you very much. It's on screen there where you can see atmospheric pressure. As we start the engine, we start to pull a vacuum, and our maximum vacuum in this case was 675 bar at idle. Then we lose our vacuum back up to atmospheric pressure when we open the throttle. And then on the overrun, we have a huge depression and huge vacuum. 895 millibar negative, 895 millibar. And then of course we can see the decaying vacuum back up to atmospheric pressure as we switch off the vehicle. 